Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to explain how to increase your EBS volume size without stopping your EC2 instance. Okay, so for that, what I've done is I've already created an EC2 instance with the name EBS resize demo. And this is the information about this EC2 instance. And if you want to check what is the volume that has been attached, so let me go to storage here. And if you see, this is the volume that has been attached. This is the device name and this is the volume size. Okay, so let us also verify in the EBS section. So let me open this EBS volumes in the new tab. Okay, so this is the volume EBS resize demo. Okay, so this is the volume ID and size is 8 GB. And this is been in use, right? So this is attached to this particular EC2 instance. Right. So let us also get the second confirmation by logging into this EC2 instance and by running a command df ht. Right. So let me do that. So I've logged into this particular EC2 instance using instance connect method. So the command to check is df h capital T. All right. So if you run this command, you will see the disk that has been attached. So this is the disk which is of type XFS. It is using file system as XFS and the size is 8 GB and how much it is used, how much still, uh, how much uh, storage is still available and what is the percentage and where it is mounted. So it is mounted to root, right? To root directory. All right. So after getting this confirmation, so we need to resize this volume. So that is our main intention. So to do that, we have simple three steps to follow. Okay, so what are those three steps? So these are the three steps. The first one is to take the snapshot of the EBS volume just to be safe. So it is not mandatory to be safe if something happens to this EC2 instance. In, in case of that, we want a snapshot or a backup of the data. So that is why we take the snapshot. Second step is to increase the EBS volume in AWS console. Okay, and the third step is to extend the Linux file system after resizing the volume. Okay, so do not worry. I'll list this in the description box below. You can also follow the same. Okay, so first let us go with the first step that is to take snapshot of EBS volume. Okay, so let me go back to my EC2 console and this is my volume, right? So let me select the volume and go to actions. If you see, you have an option to create snapshot. So select that and description, you need to provide a meaningful description. So I'll just say EBS resize snapshot. Okay. So add a tag. I'll just add a name tag. So just to, I'll add a name tag with the value EBS resize snapshot and I'll click on create snapshot. Okay, so where to verify again, you come to the EBS block storage and under that you have snapshot. I'll open that in the new tab. Now, if you see it is loading the snapshots that we have taken, if you see the right now we have only one snapshot that is EBS resize snapshot. That is the name that I gave and this is the snapshot ID size. Please make a note of it. It is 8 GB and it is the snapshot status is pending, but after completing it will change to completed state and the progress it will be available state. Let me refresh again. So it will take some time to, you know, uh, change the status or completed. See now if you see uh, the status is completed and it is also available. So we have successfully completed our step one is to take the snapshot. The step two is to increase the EBS volume size in AWS console. So let me go back to my AWS console. This is the volume that I am interested to resize, right? So what I'll do, I'll select this one and under actions, you have something called as modify volume. So cl click on that. Now, if you see the current size is 8 GB, so I will change it to let's say 20 GB. And please make no, one more point here. That is you cannot decrease the volume size. I cannot give five or I cannot give seven GB. It should be eight or above eight. So I'll go with 20 GB 
so for that example okay now so now i'll click on modify so it will prompt you with the uh, you know confirmation so if you are resizing this you must extend it in the file system so that is our third step right extending the linux file system so that is what they are telling here and if you do not know how to do that they have a documentation you can go there and start looking into it and at the end it will ask you to you know make sure you are uh, uh, actually resizing the volume okay so if you are okay with this go ahead and click on modify now what will happen this ebs volume uh, current size is 8 gb so after modification it will be changed to 20 gb but the modification process will take some time if you see uh, it is still in use but it is modifying so and one more important thing is that there is no downtime for this that means we did not stop ec2 instance but it is modifying in the fly right so it will take some time to change the volume state okay all right now if you see the volume size has been changed to 20 gb and it is still in use state right so it took some time to uh, you know modify everything so it is still attached to this ec2 instance and we did not encounter any downtime right so now let us go back to uh, instance again and check if we have 20 gb here let me rerun the same command but if you see right now we still have 8 gigs of memory right 8 gigs of ebs volume but in the console it is showing 20 gb right so that is because we need to extend the file system that is our third step so how to do that you need to run some commands to extend your linux file system okay so the, that is our third step so let us do uh, all those things one by one okay so first let us check whether the volume has partition or not by running sudo lsblk so th that is list block devices right so let me copy this command and just paste it here okay so if you see right now I just have one disk and there is one partition for that that is 8 gigs but the actual disk size is 20 GB but the partition of that the first partition of that which is mounted to root is having 8 gigs so you need to extend this that is a simple thing right so to do that we need to extend the partition how to do that you just need to run this sudo grow part this device name and this so I'll tell you what is this sudo as you know it is a super user grow part we are growing or we are extending the partition because we saw right so this disk has 20 gigs the disk is showing 20 gigs but the partition of that gigs is still 8 GB so that is why we still saw 8 gigs here right so to change that you need to extend this partition so this is a partition if you see it is mentioning part and it is mounted to root so that is what i have written here sudo grow part and this is the name this is the device name uh, dev xvda by by default what happens when you run only xvda will be appearing but behind the scenes you need to also add dev right so this is our one represent it is our first partition so let me copy this and paste it here okay so now if you see the you got a message saying changed partition one and this is what it had uh, this is the size we had before and this is the new size that we are getting okay so let us check what happened so let me rerun the sudo, sudo lsblk command let me rerun that and now if you see both xvda is showing 20 i mean the disk and the partition is also showing 20 which is mounted to root right so before if you see it was 20 and 8 right so now let me check so by running df-ht let me again check if we have got the right volume okay so let me copy and paste the same command df-ht even after changing the partition changing the size of the partition it is still showing eight gigs right so what to do in this situation 
in this situation make a note of the file system that you are using so this is the dev xvda and this is the file system xfs is the file system so uh, under type you see xfs is the file system that we are running and the size is still 8 gb we need to change that to 20 gb right so how to do that if you see this is the last command so that is extending the file system on root that is where our uh, uh, file system is mounted right so if you see this is our ebs mounted it is mounted to root so that is what we are extending now so there are two things here one for the xfs file system and other one for ext4 file system so right now if you see i am using xfs file system xfs file system but if you are using xt ext4 file system you need to run this command or else if you are using fxs f xfs file system you need to run sudo xfs grow fs hyphen d root right so that meaning xfs you are growing the you are extending the file system this meaning and hyphen d along with the mount point so our mind mount point is root so let me run this command okay so let me copy that and paste it here so do not worry i will uh, add all the commands in the description now if you see data blocks changed from so and so to so and so right so let us verify again df hyphen ht let me run that command now if you see this dev xvda1 xfs is changed to 20 before it was 8 gb right so this is how you can increase your EBS volume size without stopping your EC2 instance. That's it for today's video. If you're liking the content that I'm creating, please consider subscribing and share it among your friends. Thank you.